The little blue pill isn't the answer to your problems. See, most guys, when they get their first bout of performance anxiety or erectile dysfunction, their immediate response is to reach for a little blue pill. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you four flaws I bet you didn't know about Viagra, Cialis, all these different pharmaceutical boner pills, and more importantly, why you should stay away from them. I'm Sterling Cooper, award-winning X-rated film star, former high-class male companion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So how exactly do boner pills like Viagra or Cialis actually work? Well, they work by increasing the amount of nitric oxide flowing through your body. Now, nitric oxide is what allows your blood vessels to relax, and when they relax, they expand and they allow more blood to flow through them. So what most people don't realize is that the erection is actually a relaxation response. You're relaxed, your blood vessels relax, and therefore more blood can flow into those blood vessels and fill up the chamber of your penile shaft. By increasing the amount of nitric oxide flowing through your body, these drugs allow that to happen more smoothly. So the first misconception that most people have about Viagra is that it doesn't actually give you an erection. Most people think that, oh, I pop this little blue pill and it gives me an erection. No, what it does is it makes your erection stay around for longer and it helps you to achieve an erection faster. It doesn't actually give you an erection. So you could take a little blue pill and then just walk around the seaside. If nothing turns you on, you're not going to get a boner from it. So the second thing that most people don't realize about pills like Viagra or Cialis is that they have some rather annoying side effects. So when you take it, you actually get quite nasally congested, it becomes hard to breathe through your nose, it becomes very blocky, very stuffy, very, very nasally. Very, you, to, you find yourself sort of sniffing and breathing like that a lot. And they can give you headaches as well, which is a real pain in the rear when you're trying to enjoy the sexual experience with your partner. Now, most people don't realize before they start taking pills like Viagra that they actually have these side effects. So that's something you should be aware of. The third flaw with pills like Viagra or Cialis is that your body can actually develop an immunity to it. If you use it too frequently, too often, and you start, what will happen is your body will not have the same response it had the first time you took the pill. So what you'll probably do is you'll probably up the dosage. And as you up the dosage, your body develops more of a resistance to that drug. And eventually it'll get to the point where you're having so much of the drug and it has no effect whatsoever, zero effect whatsoever on your erection. And congratulations, you have just developed an immunity, a drug resistance to Viagra. What are you gonna do now? And the fourth flaw, the most important one for guys to know, is that if you are nervous, if you are actually anxious, and you pop one of these little pills, you still won't get a boner. Trust me, I've been on plenty of porn sets. I've seen new porn performers come onto the set super nervous, super anxious. They pop a little blue pill thinking it's gonna solve all their problems and they're surprised why they can't get an erection because they're so nervous. Like I said at the very beginning, Viagra Cialis, they don't give you a bonnet. They just allow it to stick around for longer and they allow it to rise quicker and easier. So if you're still nervous, you still have that performance anxiety, then a little blue pill isn't gonna do anything for you. You see, the problem with these pills, these pharmaceutical boner pills, is that they're a band-aid cure for an underlying either physical or mental problem. You should seek to find the actual cause of your issues and solve that. It's a bit like if you were walking around and you had a pebble in your shoe and it was causing pain in your foot. It's a bit like taking an aspirin to stop the pain that's being caused from a pebble in your shoe. The better solution is to just take your shoe off and get rid of the pebble. Now, if you want to learn how to eliminate the source of your performance anxiety, check out this video right here. 